Hi. Hello. I'm, my name is Tamara, and I'm an apprentice at SUSE. This is my second year as an apprentice. Um, yeah, and as an apprentice, we see a lot of things. Every six months, we rotate teams and see a lot of things. And right now, at a, I'm at a team that does hardware driver development things in the kernel. And a few months ago, I learned about something called Simple DRM. Um, that's a big kind of worms. Um, first of all, DRM is a kernel subsystem. And it, DRM stands for Display Rendering Manager, not Digital Rights Management. That's what uh, video distribution platforms do. But this is just about putting stuff on the screen and having 3D graphics and uh, whatever. Um, right. Oh, excuse me. So, so when you boot your system, you see things appear on your screen. And um, I'm going to explain how that works on on an x86 64-bit EFI system, just so that you can get an understanding for how it exactly works um, and why Simple DRM even exists. So, when you turn on your machine, you usually see your your lab standard laptop. You see a manufacturer's logo. You get into Grub somehow, and then Grub loads. Uh, the kernel, and um, you already there's uh, so graphics have already been initialized, but um, now the kernel has to find where that is um, using a tool called VGA Help. I'm actually going to demonstrate this if we just have a normal. Uh, tumbleweed machine and boot it. Um, we see a screen. I disabled uh, login manager, so I just dropped to the text console. Nothing to worry about there. If I go into the D message, the, the kernel log, I can see that. Um, excuse me. I can see that VGA. I can see that VGA up um, found the frame buffer that was already uh, existed, um, initialized by the by whatever previously happened, and then um, another driver comes in. In this case, VZFB, because I'm on a this is actually a BIOS machine, whatever. There's a driver that just goes, OK, I have something where I can draw pixels to, and it will get displayed. And that's where the text console is set up. Because before you do that, you, you don't even see any text. Um, later, this is, so this is the first thing you see on the screen that comes from Linux. Later on, you're going to load a real driver that is specific to your hardware. And that's usually a DRM driver in the DRM subsystem of the kernel. And this happens at second 2.8, at 2.8 seconds, as you can see. Um, thank you. Um, well, what is that? Uh, I did not do anything. <laughs> Maybe just, you know, HDMI graphics things. You know, graphics are wanky. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, better drivers loaded that is specific to your hardware, and then you get uh, often hardware acceleration or just the, the ability to change your screen resolution, whatever. So the the problem here is that we use uh, an FBDEV driver 
And that means um, it's not DRM. Why is that a problem? Well, because um, um, X server does support VBDEV, but um, let's say I disable kernel mode setting, which means that um, the fancy driver is not loaded, so we'll just stay with the very basic one. Um, if we do that, um, we will see that X will be fine with that and it can talk to FBDEV, but Wayland, for example, does not know how to talk to FBDEV. The Wayland protocol relies on there being a DRM driver, usually. So I can run X server and I have a desktop, but if I try to run Western, I get an error message because there's no DRM driver. It wasn't loaded. Um, simple DRM, on the other hand, goes ahead and just replaces that very early driver with a DRM driver, a very simple one, <laughs> hence the name. <laughs> it can't really do a lot of things, but it can do enough. Um, oh, this machine is frozen. Where's my mouse? Release pointer. Okay, if I disable mode setting on this machine, so we're not using the fancy driver. Um, we wait as well. We go into root and we look at the log. And as you can see, VGA up found the, our frame buffer. But then um, instead, we see DRM initialized the simple DRM frame buffer. And then we see where it says console. That's where we set up the basic text output so that we can print stuff to the screen. Um, and because I said no mode set, the fancy QXL, well, the, the fancy device-specific DRM driver is not loaded, um, which would be the case if you have a broken driver or if you don't have, um, if you're on a system that doesn't have a working native good driver. So I can still start X like I did before. Um, which will take a bit longer because I think I have GNOME on here. Yeah, there you go. And um, But the main difference is I can launch Western and we have a desktop. Um, yeah, it's a full desktop. It's, it's basic, but it, you have graphical output. At least, West, at least you have Wayland. Um, okay. So um, the point of the simple DRM is so that you can have to stay, do everything DRM. That's the whole idea of D uh, simple DRM. Um, and for that to happen, you need a special kernel build. There is, um, there we go. So the most interesting code is in in the in the kernel tree. It's uh, in here in the drivers, GPU, DRM, tiny, simple DRM uh, folder file. <laughs> um, there you need to make a few co um, kernel config changes to um, use simple DRM. It's the, the code is in the mainline kernel. It's been actually for almost nine years, I think, but. Um, you need to make these changes to your kernel config. Come on. And if you do, you, you're using simple DRM instead of VB, a VBDEV driver. And um, this, this is a project, a home project, where just, it just takes the standard tumbleweed, SUSE kernel, and then applies these kernel config changes. And you can install this package, and then you're using a kernel that uses simple DRM. <laughs> so the obvious question is, well, 
why do we have to install package folders? Why is this not the default? Well, <laughs> because <laughs> it has bugs. <laughs> um, uh, it was turned on in Tumbleweed before, I think, this year or last year. And the problem arise with the driver handover because um, so a bunch of drivers expect there to be an FB dev and then go ahead and load their fancy driver, for example, the NVIDIA driver. But um, these drivers then cannot deal with the fact that uh, a DRM driver exists and you get broken graphics. Um, so, w yeah, that's why it's not the default, but um, it's, it's, it, it would be nice if it was the default because this uh, is an improvement over what you have now if you don't have proper graphics drivers. And um, it would be nice if uh, some of you could test this uh, and find bugs, report them on Bugzilla, uh, report them to the mailing list. Um, the project is mostly written and maintained by Thomas Zimmermann, and uh, also, I'm gonna butcher this name, Javier Martinez Canillas, sorry. <laughs> um, this is from the maintainer's file in the kernel, it's, it's this current information I checked. <laughs> um, yeah, it's mostly developed on the free desktop mailing list, um, on the free desktop git, uh, DRM, uh, DRM, DRM tip is where you can get the latest patches usually. And um, yeah, please go ahead, test this. Please help make this a viable default on whatever distribution you have. Um, thank you. Any questions? If if anybody has questions, raise your hand, please. Okay, someone is raising a hand. Uh, let's get you a mic, or, or just shout it, shout it. I'll repeat it. The question is: Do you know which drivers are known to be working with Simple DRM? Um, I've personally tried Intel graphics, I've tried AMD, I've tried um, the, the, the Kimu drivers, which is QXL, which is what is used uh, commonly when you have a virtual machine using KVM Kimu. Those, those just work fine. Usually, um, I think a lot of problems with the mainline drivers have been resolved. It's especially out of tree drivers that are more problematic. But uh, there's no there's no list of what works. This has also been tested on ARM, I think. It should work on ARM on certain on some ARM devices. Another question. Can you run with dual monitor? Um, I don't think so. So you see, um, when you don't have mode setting, you just want to have any form of output. So I, I think you might get dual monitor output, that, that, that that's just that it's mirrored. Um, you want a driver, a, a proper DRM driver that has mode setting that can support resolution changes and everything. This is just a fallback. And it's, it's trying to be as generic as possible and work with EFI, Visa, ARM devices, whatever. Any more questions? Um, and I don't see any, so that's it. Thank you. <laughs>